Welcome to the Cool Fireman Podcast, a virtual firehouse kitchen table with What's a Rolfi, Unky, Fireman 1231, JDB Cubed, and Fireman Freddy. Let's get to the show. Yeah, that was. Freddy, you just threw, I think I counted 23 F bombs. Yes, really? Freddy. You are on fire. Well, I just got off of 72, so I have to. I have to come back to civilian life for us. You're feeling it. And this is like the first time that we've talked in a few weeks. So we're, I'm, I know. I, I don't know about you guys, but I I'm like, the, I missed the heck. I almost did it. Did you hear it? I'm I jazzed. The... You have picked up frustration. Dude, I am jazzed. Me? And I think we should just roll right into this. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Welcome to the Cool Fireman Podcast. Everything. Dude, Doug, that sounds awesome. And it's not, you can't see it. I see a okay. saw. A seesaw. I see saw. It says my network is unstable. It's it seems very nice. Social mental status. It's okay. That, that's a fact. <laughs> it seems right. very nice. Starlink has done some good upgrades for you, sir. Yeah, they're um they, we're off of the R V now. We're on well, I guess by the thirty first. This is a Starlink though. This is my five G. See you guys froze. Can you We're not frozen. Yeah, you froze a little bit. What the fuck, man? W- See, I'm here. not the only one dropping. Yeah, did you guys hear all I said or no? Yeah, we heard fuck. Yeah, look at this. We have an we have an all uh, uh, all mustache cast here. Whoa, is it too bright in here? No. Okay, or is it not bright the enough? Future's so bright. Future's so bright. God, it looks nice. Hey, you guys like my new Carhartt shirt? Look at this. I was gonna say I was huh? actually just getting ready, and then I got a text message. I'm trying to this. Answer. Thing is amazing. I just bought it this morning. I had eighty dollars of freaking score rewards at Dick, so I stopped and I was like, "Yo, this is seventy nine ninety nine. It's oh. super soft, like movable, like a yeah. light, really light car. And it's got fleece on the inside. Oh, yeah. Nice. I just got uh ninety hundred and thirty dollars worth of gift cards to Carhartt. Oh, um, yeah. Last week what? for my birthday. I love Carhartt. Of course. I mean, I don't have one piece of uh of clothing from Carhartt yet, or anything. I need to do that. I uh, I went up to the register. It was like eighty four dollars and some change because I, like, I think I had right at eighty dollars in rewards. And uh, she said, "You, you want to use like them?" Like four bucks for that shirt? No, not even. She said, "You want to use them?" I said, "Absolutely." So she puts the rewards in, and it goes back to seventy nine ninety nine. And I don't pay tax. I don't pay nothing. I walk out the door zero. Got a receipt that says zero. Nice. So yeah, super cool. Treat yourself. Yeah, everybody said like, "Oh, what do you want for your birthday?" You? I'm like, "Fuck, I I'm an adult." Like I buy what I want. I I got a lot of that. What do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? I'm like I don't want anything. I buy I said, what I just, want when I want it. I said that's... just give me car. I said I said I want a Yeti one ten. Oh, that's really expensive. I said I'm aware. You asked me what I wanted. Yeah, I said I want. I I told him I wanted that fucking grill that you just got. The what do you got? The Memphis yeah. Memphis four and one. Is that what? No, you got? it's the uh, KC combo. Yeah, KC combo. It's it's legit, dude. I love that thing. I was like, I want one of those. And they're like, well, it's like 800 bucks. I'm like, exactly. Wait, tell me like, about it. What is look it? Look around. The shit that oh. I want is expensive. So look I around. Said, you'll, you'll catch it for three, four hundred dollars sometime. Well, I'm going to bring it up at the union meeting this this next week because uh, uh, our grills are, are god awful and we are not going to arbitration. We got 180 grand in the fucking bank. I'm going to be like, dude, let's fucking do it. It's It's got a. It's got a flat top. It's got a grill. It's got propane. Although we can, uh, we yes, can. Yes, they make a conversion uh, for it. Yeah, convert because we have the um, natural Great gas line. coming out of mm-hmm. the station. Yep. I said, and it's a smoker. Like it literally is everything that we need. You did, Matt. I'll send you my TikTok. I made a TikTok on it. This thing is so dope. Uh, really, the tits. It's, no it's awesome. It's the tits completely all for five hundred. Alex, I'll take a lot tips now. All right, I gotta move, Doc. You can't see him in the bitch. And I just oh need the microphone. God. Oh my god. We're still working things out here, folks. Let's just well, yeah, it's sorry. Just, it's it's the first time I've ever been in my shed. <laughs> Your she shed. I I want a she shed, and then I want one of those things. I think it's his. I think. Oh, 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 oh geez. <laughs> it's his BCD shed. I told yes. I told Kelsey. I said I, it's time. Like I haven't had a new appliance in a long time, and I, I it's time. I need a new one, and then. And then I see Nick's TikTok where he's got like four. Dude, that fucking outdoor kitchen, bro. Dude. When I went up there last weekend or two weekends ago, whatever it was, he's oh my god. See that place is legit. 
I Is that love thing it. sick? He's got TV mount out there. He pulls it right out of the RV, puts it right on the post. He's got power ran out there. He's going to have water out there. It is amazing. Wow. If for, for what he's doing, it's absolutely perfect. Dude, Gorilla Grills hooked him up. Yeah. And I mean, I know the, the weather's changing right now, but he's got a big fire pit out there. Like, it's, 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 Not it's awesome. Oh, that's much. 70 degrees. Much better. Yeah. All right. What do we want to talk about? We're already talking. I don't know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, let me say Matt. That's yeah. I already uh, said, welcome to the Cool Fireman nice. Podcast. This is nice. What if, I like this. Yeah. What if we, I don't know, talk about like this holiday season here and. Sure. Have yeah, we I talked to... about like missing holidays with your families and, and, uh, and how, how each of us, uh, or how people deal with it within the first responder community? Like, do you try and get the day off? Do you just adjust back or forth the day? Do you work the holiday or are you one of those people that always tries to uh, get the holiday off? Like for me, if I'm scheduled on a holiday, I fucking work it because I feel like it. you got to take your turn. I, I don't tend to request off holidays. That's just the way that I am. Yeah. The worst part is, Fred, is the anxiety. And we talked about this with um, with the Dear Chief podcast about the anxiety of being forced. and Onto a holiday? Yes. So like, let's say, cause we bid every year. So our bid is coming up in January. And, uh, and so we do these, uh, Ouija's every, you know, like we start in July actually. And we start like trying to guess where people are going to start. We're going to go for the next year. But anyway, so let's say you have enough seniority to get, to not have to work, you know, Christmas, whatever. So next year, C shift is the worst. It's the worst. I mean, you have to work like Christmas day, Thanksgiving and everything, New Year's, it's like, it's like all encompassing shit. Um, yeah. and so like, let's say you have enough juice to get off a C shift, which I do, but now I've got to be worried during the holiday season that I'm going to get forced for someone that's on disability. We cannot, uh, take vacation leaves on, uh, five sacred days. We have, we have five sacred days. Well, let's throw, let's throw into this and then we'll just We're already said Pete, but we didn't say like, hello. I did twice. Oh, you did? You're on fire. You've been on fire since we got on this call right now. You've I been turned my Christmas <laughs> lights. Yeah. No, we're not doing a traditional opening. So uh, oh, on door. our five sacred days are Thanksgiving. Five sacred. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. So you can't put in like an annual vacation day on that and expect to get it off. Those are just the five sacred days that we won't force for a vacation. Now, if somebody's out sick, obviously, if you call out sick and ask your buddy that way, then that's one way to do it. And two, uh, if you're out on disability, obviously you can't work. So that's uh, those are the only ways. In fact, when I was out last year, I got all the holidays off, and I felt really bad. But anyway, uh, what was it? We, I, what was the point? I don't know. We so we just changed our rules for our like we have a uh, mandatory committee within the union because we handle all of the like you get forced in. That's a department policy, but we handle how it's dealt with. Like who gets forced, when, whatever that that's handled like at the union level, if you will, and we just changed our rules that said because there was people calling off sick, people getting forced on holidays, and it was kind of it was kind of bu- bullshit because it's like I wasn't working the holiday, and now all of a sudden I'm forced into it. So yeah. we said that if you get forced on a holiday, and we have like eight of them, and I don't remember the list, um couple people were like let's just use all the bank holidays like if city hall is closed or a, a bank is closed that should just Federal. be the holiday Federal but Federal. Yes. not everybody agreed on it but if you get forced on a holiday um your mandatory hours are time and a half oh so you don't get paid well you do get paid time and a half because it's overtime but the little list that we have going yeah you get 36 instead of 24 which is good because if you're got the least amount of hours, you get forced. That's just and you and you're at work. You can't that's, be forced at at home. That's still an F. That's still an F. Like you, you got F. Like that's just brutal. Oh, hundred percent. And yeah, the, she, and, and and the girls were right on the deer podcast on the deer chief. There's just like some serious anxiety going around the station uh, around the department right now. I'm, you know, obviously like a smaller department, we know everybody and everybody talks. You know, like Doug, but um, and so uh. Fuck your day off. Uh, yeah. Fuck and uh, fuck your day off. 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, there's just some massive man things. I just like, oh, I don't, you know, I'm not supposed to be working on Thanksgiving. I'm not protected. And now I'm going to get forced for this guy and this guy. We got a couple guys out on disability right now. And so yeah, it's a real deal, dude. It's a real deal. It's real well, deal. I, for me, like my, my shit, like Kelsey is just phenomenal with this kind of stuff. Like it's a day. There's 365 days in the year. Like we don't we technically have to have Christmas on Christmas day. You know what I mean? Right. So if we have to have it the next day or the day before, I think Fred is fully frozen right now. Um, yeah, he looks it. He looks very frozen, unless he's just very good at just being a statue right now. I, I think that's kind of become the norm in the first responder community for that, Matt, is like, you know, hey, sorry, guys, I got to work. You know, yeah. thankfully, my shift, C shift, we don't usually work the holidays. It's just the way it works out. Um, I think this year we worked Thanksgiving and next year, we do, I feel like the next three or four years, we don't work Thanksgiving or Christmas. But I think, like you said, we just, we've kind of become accustomed to, hey, we got to do it on Friday because so-and-so's got to work or, you know, whatever. Oh, shit, he, like, disappeared. Ah, uh, now that's going to mess up the gosh darn video. Son of a work. gun. That's okay. It's that's okay. Now you're at the bottom, Fred. Way to go. I didn't do shit. I was sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> you're on fire. I didn't do fuck Absolutely. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do shit. But I'm drinking cold beers on my I first day off. So. I think. Oh, I like that. It's only ten o'clock here, and I've. I'm sorry. It is twelve. It's one o two here. I've cut my alcohol content way back. Plus, I'm grown. You are grown. I'm a grown ass man. You are grown. Okay. I came home and, 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 and tell you about. Well, you know. Well, you know. Had a lot of errands to run this morning. Did all that. Went and got a new Carhartt shirt because I had some Dick's reward. So if you guys haven't checked this out, you should go totally check this out. This thing is legit. It's like just, I feel like we just talked about that. I think we did. did. We rec- were we recording that. I don't. Yes. Maybe. Uh, either way, this thing is. I'm telling. Look, it was eighty bucks, but for the man in your life, great Christmas gift. It's really soft. It's not like normal Carhartt material. It's really soft. But it's yeah. fleece lined. Fleece lined. This thing is awesome. Great little mid layer. It's it's perfect. It's like fifty degrees out today. It's perfect. Anyway, we, are, we are not sponsored by Carhartt or anything. They are not paying us to say this. We just yes. say this out of out of. But I would love, love to be because I love I wear a lot of Carhartt. Um, if Carhartt on that note, so when I finally got home, the neighbor called and said one of her goats had died, and said she was going to wait for her husband to get home to bury it. I was like, No, Kelly, I'm home. She said, Well, I didn't know what kind of night you had at work, so I gladly went over because I love him to death. Jumped on the tractor, got on the backhoe, dug a hole, buried the goat. And uh, yeah, that was it. Sweet little Maggie, bless her heart. <laughs> Maggie, yeah. the, Maggie the goat? Yeah, she was an inside goat. She was ra- She was uh, like a runt. She, like, she kind of got shunned. And uh, they raised her inside. She's just this, just like a little dog. She's the sweetest little goat. So I don't know that I've ever heard of an inside I, goat. Yeah, you she, she, she was. She um she, Out of all the stuff to eat in the pasture, plus all the, the round bell I hate to eat on, she found a trash, a plastic trash bag that had flown out of the trash can and started eating it. And apparently it's fixated herself. So, oh, oh. R.I.P. Maggie. And Matt froze. Did no, we, we did. Did we just do, I just did a moment of silence for Matt. Oh, yeah. I was like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. I just, it's goats, man. Goats will literally eat any freaking thing. Like they don't discriminate. They love to eat shit. So then literally. why, Pick. why do we even have dumps? I mean, you know what I mean? Like we should just, <laughs> I mean, I mean we just, because we, we have lots of goats. We yeah. have a lot of goat shit everywhere. Goat, little goat, little goat turds, little balls. We have goats. I know a lot of fire departments out there have goats, and we we have uh, a couple herds of goats, and they they move them from you know north end of town to south end of town to uh, chew up all the shit in like the open spaces. <laughs> for, for like wild for wildfire purposes. Yeah, yeah, it's fuel okay. mitigation. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, wait a minute, I don't know of any fire department that has goats. I was gonna no, say, this guy blow right past that. Oh, all these farm birds have goats. Oh, oh that's not no. important. Mean, what? We Dude, they have all. What are you talking about? Of a goat. <laughs> hey, hey, what is a unconscious patient give you? Implied consent. I thought that was impl- the implication. That was implied. Okay, that that every right, nerd alert. Has- <laughs> Jesus Christ. So we have goats, and the goats eat everything. So the 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 Lagoonians hate it because they like it Lagoonians. because it because they love it the the villagers love it but they hate it right because they love it because it's gonna save their house one day it really hundred percent is and B yeah. but B they hate it because it eats you know all the 
horny goat toads that that are supposed to be out there in the wild and they're endangered. I've seen the people who who will bring them to your property for you know whatever they charge and they'll clear your property. Yeah, my next door neighbor, uh, not in a lot my of people, community. But. I shouldn't say a lot of people. People have done it here for kudzu vines because kudzu, it's like impossible to kill. It's the cheapest. I mean, you know, California wildfires. It's it's crazy. So yeah, but, give these so, give a pack of goats a week, dude. They're clear. It's done. hundred percent. And they, and yeah. they, you know, the, you hire like a, a good crew to come out, and it's going to cost you a hundred times more. You know, for the same thing almost. But the crew can kind of go around and not, you know, take out the special weeds that that are endangered. Or sorry, or, no. sorry, sorry, not sorry. Hey, Have you guys we- seen? Have you guys hold and on. welcome back to the FFA podcast? Have you guys seen the? Uh, there's a guy on TikTok that sings to his goat, and his goat puts his head on the guy's shoulder every time. Have you seen? No. It? All right, I'll say. I, it would, I would love to. Because right. my two little goats are very personable, like they're really, really friendly. So I, I feel like mine would probably do something like that. Dude, this guy gets like millions of hits, and he, I mean, he doesn't have like or millions of hits, millions of views, and he doesn't have like a good voice or anything. He just like sings to this goat, and this horrible sound comes out of his mouth. And then, and the goat just like puts his head on the guy's shoulder and just like almost smiles and like a, ah, this is so great. What a life. They're very personal animals. What a life. I remember I had um, a fire captain back when I worked on the ambulance and he had a goat. He, he he lived in Fallbrook, which is like North County, San Diego here, big lots, whatever, ranches. And uh, he had a goat. The start. Said, he goes, dude, that was my favorite animal of, of any of them I've ever had. And he was super bummed because his goat died while I worked with him. And uh, he had to uh, bury the goat or whatever, you know. No bueno. What were you going to say, Doug? Sorry, I just... Uh, well, welcome to my new uh, venue, if you will. Uh, my wife said, hey, I need my office because I got a meeting at one o'clock. I was like, well, I'm here every quarter. Guess I'm going outside. And I was with someone on the deck and I was like, you know, I'm going to the man shed. Heck yeah. So, so here I am. So I'm kind of decorating this little wall with stuff. I got some stuff on this wall that you can't see, but I think this is probably going to be my new spot. I like it. I thought you were putting like your lawnmowers and your weed eaters and all that there. No, nah, my riding board doesn't go in there. I've got all my tools and weed eaters, everything else, but the lawnmower. Lawnmower's under the deck because our deck is, our the, uh, lot slopes. So it's two, three extra courses of block on the back. So the deck's four and a half foot above the ground. So I just drive the lawnmower under there. But didn't you build that shed for a different reason? No, this I bought. I built a shed for my chicken coop. This maybe shed I bought, maybe that's it's what uh, 10 by 16, something like that, with uh, double lofts, the one loft above my head right here, and then there's one on the other side as well. No, I bought this one for storage. I built the other one just for the chicken coop. We bought a kit. Oh, nice. We bought yeah. a shed. Yeah, yeah. the shed, shed kit from Lowe's, and they delivered everything on one pallet, and it was as simple as assembling it with a little bit of mild construction experience. Which hell, I, I, I kind of did the price breakdown it. It kind of broke even, honestly. Yeah. Pretty close. And well, I didn't have to do Just buying a fully assembled shed? Right. Or buying the materials myself. Like, all this shit came pre-cut. All I had to do was put it together. I mean, of course, I had to... I say I pre-cut. Most of it was pre-cut. It didn't come with the floor. It didn't come with the roof. Uh, it came with all the walls. Uh, I put it on blocks and four by fours. And I put vinyl, uh, like linoleum on the floor. Because I was a chicken coop. I had some. And I was like, well, I'll just cover the floor with this. And I wrapped it over the edges and put windows in it and caged it in for the chickens and stuff. And nice. The, the linoleum is way easier to clean. Yeah, that's exactly. I was like, I had a roll of it. It, it. You can buy like the remnants for like 10 bucks, 50, whatever. It was dirt cheap. Just roll it right across the top of that. And it's so much easier to sweep that stuff off. And it, of course, it's never going to, the floor's never going to get wet. Yeah, the sub floor chickens. So. chickens are great. I love my chicken. I love my church feet more. You love your what? My turkeys. Hold on. Oh, turkey. You hear him? No. All you gotta do is talk to him. I wish we could hear that. You need to do oh, that no. towards. Do it towards the towards the microphone. What mine? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I gotta do it towards. The, I gotta do it towards my birds, man. Yeah, but we nobody don't care can... about the birds. We just want to hear yeah. you. Yeah, our, the, the people that are listening to this right now, this fantastic Friday, want to hear you gobble or whatever they whatever they call it. Oh, so it's 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 the pressing it because it thinks you're yelling. Yeah, it's the pit. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can't hear it at all. So my my turkeys are named Tupac. 
Who packs your core? And Suge Knight. <laughs> I said, <laughs> didn't Suge Knight kill? Uh, or they said Suge Knight killed? No. Tupac. No, they, well, they were they in were, the car together. No, they were in the car together. They were arrested. Was that what it was? They have arrested the man who killed Tupac. But it was allegedly. I was allegedly. I didn't listen to Tupac. I listened to it. I was all about that East Coast, West Coast beef. I, I was more like, like Bone Thugs and Harmony. Okay, it's clean. Oh, I get it. I get it. Um, I was I was more into um, I was more into Biggie than Tupac. I thought Biggie was better, but either way, yeah, I've got a, I've got a Biggie. There. I've got my pig is named Piggy Small, so I've got a Biggie. So I, yeah. I listen to a lot of Will Smith. No, I'm joking, dude. We we <laughs> had this conversation. We had this debate in the fire engine, uh, not really recently, but a couple months ago, about who the best rapper of all time. Like, who's the goat? Dylan, 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 Dylan. I spit mad fire. I spit hot fire. Wow. Uh, uh the the greatest rapper of all time is Eminem, and is that you're not gonna we're not gonna debate that. Oh wow, wow, not so wow. Well, okay, who's Ooh. number two for you? Detroit, hot bed of rap. Duh. Oh, that's <laughs> tough. Who's number two? Is that what you're Red Ma- Red Man was really awesome and underrated. Like I'm talking uh, of of, uh, of all of all time. I am. I so am I. Hip hop drastically changed. Uh, Andre three thousand, amazing lyricist, outcast. Really. Yeah, yeah. What do we do with yeah. lyricists? Yeah, I mean, like, what? what I mean, right? right how beat it's right, Dre? Yeah, yeah, but you're not going to quantify. You're like anybody can put a beat together. We're talking about lyricists. Like you got to put you got to put the flow. Can. You got to put the flow to the track. Okay, Nas. I understand your guys's uh, Gen Z. I understand your debate and where you're coming with, but I can't believe you haven't even said Snoop Dogg's name. Are you kidding me right now? I'm not. I mean, maybe if we have to say like the most successful of all time, uh, he's not top ten, bro. No, what? shit, no, bro. Find me a top ten list with Snoop on it, and I will kiss your boots. <laughs> Why? From a legitimate source, you find it, and I'll kiss your boots, dude. Oh my god, everybody, everybody listening right now is just unsubscribed to the absolutely podcast. not. We'd probably gain or or Snoop was getting, not a like, good rad man. Eight emails. Snoop is a is a a cultural icon. He is not a good rapper. Okay, never this was a promo. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm gonna make this a promo, and we're gonna you put this that. on TikTok. <laughs> and, and 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 and, and, and cut and, it. And. You find me a legitimate list with Snoop Dogg listed as a top ten rapper of all time, and I'll kiss your boots. Quit lying to yourself. Well, stop it. Yikes! That's a hot take. That's not a hot take at all. Oh my gosh! I hope we get some comments because I want to. Do not love one of West Coast bias. Um, culture yes. yourself. Oh yeah. my goodness! Read a book, Eminem. You know what? <laughs> I'm putting a poll out right now. He's doing it on Facebook. I'm doing Stand it. By. Hey, Eminem, don't don't cut down Eminem. Marshall, I, I wish we had more followers on Facebook so that way we could do. Oh, I'm gonna share it. I know, listen, but we, that way we can do it straight through our cool fireman podcast. Ah, oh, and by the uh, way, to all the people listening, sorry that we've been like two or three weeks. Not that podcast. Oh. We're a little busy. Dude, the holidays is insane. Oh, we're and you're, you're done with how? How does it feel to be done with the uh, fire? Busy as shite, Fred. Um, it feels good. I mean, yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm here, bro. For one second, yeah, I do. Can you? I, I'm ready to meet. Okay. I, let me interrupt for just one second. I'm really proud of the mustaches in this video right now. Oh. Yes. I'm really, I really too. proud. I am. Too. I'm proud of Freddie because Freddie has doesn't have the best, uh, typically, and he's he's self admitted, self admitted, catching strays all over but, the place here. But, I, but I'm proud of you <laughs> for staying the course, my brother. Yeah, it's but for months. how long? How long? It's two months in the making. You're you're g- December first. It's gone, isn't it? Me or Freddie? <laughs> he doesn't even want to admit it. No, I'm stick. I'm sticking. No, I'm we'll sticking. Stick. Mine's a mainstay can now. You, can you do? It? I can't. I the, literally the last time that I shaved my mustache, I had instant regret, and I'm like, oh my god, I look like a ten year old. Not guy. even one letter. I. <laughs> we've already done that one. Okay. We've already yeah. done it, Fred. We've already done the no regret. 
We can't do it well, again. You know what? A lot of our jokes are it's not regrets. So you just gotta get it's regrets. Everybody says regrets. What is it? That's my veto. <laughs> my credo. I like credo. credo. Everybody says regrets. Just not regrets. Oh my god. Regrets. Have you guys regrets. seen? Have you guys seen the new show called um, like Shalzy or something? It's a it's a hockey. Shorzy. Shorzy. Wait 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 wait. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shalzy. I've seen one episode. And Dude, I bear, I, I, I could barrel, Kenny? I could, I could, no, I haven't. I, but uh, you yeah, I, start, you, you have to start with letter Kenny. I can't even yeah. do Shorzy. I can't do it. It was a big fight. No, it was a big fat, a no. show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't do this the... guy. And they call him Shorzy. And he, and he's just like, his, his, just his character is like so annoying. It's just so annoying. Right? No. Dude. It's literally like some of the best writing. For a fucking show, dude, I'm all about he, comedy. Jared Kiso is he? It's it's so genius and it's so quick. Maybe and I just saw the wrong. I maybe I saw the wrong episode. But I'm going to tell you right now, coming from a guy whose favorite movie of all time is Ace Ventura: Pet Detective, like <laughs> you would think that Shorzy would be like right down my alley. I think well, you gotta, I think you got to get. It's not. It's maybe about because you're, but it's not because you're Canadian. Hockey. I think it's because you're Canadian. Where, <laughs> close enough. Where, what is the, where's the show based out of? Is it out of like the Canada? North Canada. Canada. Oh, well, then, it, this, right. That's, Canada. There's a whole other culture, like that whole. Yeah, I get it, man. I, funny, but I, I don't think I can get into it. Couldn't do it. Have you watched it? Remember Cisco no. and Ebert? <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs down, you baby. Never, uh, you know, right. you you know you really freaking learned something about people that you thought you really liked. I thought you guys were my <laughs> friend. Hey, after we just, I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> we literally just uh, binged because the guy hasn't seen it. Season one and season two of Shorzy. We just and it's like we are sitting there in stitches, like crying. You don't like it, huh? Dude, all day long, the firefighter I was working with yesterday was going, shut the fuck, what, what's, the, what's the guy's name? Shorzy? No, the other guy that he said, shut the fuck up, and then he says his name. Sanguinette. Oh, Sanguinette? Shut the fuck up, Sanguinette, all day long, the firefighter's like, dude, I hadn't even seen an episode, so I'm like, okay, it's like 8.30 at night, let's throw it on. So For what? Nine o'clock hits, and they're like, you're done? You're only going to do one episode? I'm like, I'm out. Can't do it. Going to bed. Oh, I'm starting my nap now. Yeah. Bring in the reliever. Take me out of the chokehold, bro. <laughs> Dude. It's happened. That's all right. It's M O U T. It's it's, it's fine. It's a show that's more based on intelligence. I, I get it. You probably wouldn't. <laughs> it's an M O U T, Mouth. M O U T, Fred. I'm out. Out. In the military, that stands for something different. Does it? Military operations in urbanized terrain. <laughs> true story. What? True story. It's when you. It was the training course that you go to to fight urban warfare. Like you go into a city. Dude, does the military or does the fire department <laughs> have more acronyms? More yes. acronyms, dude. Yes. Wow, did you check his ABCs? Did you do right. OPQRST? <laughs> Every time you, I think about that, we're gonna follow <laughs> Recio. I mean Revis. I mean Slicers. It's like holy shit. <laughs> I think about Beverly Hills Cop Three. Oh, hey, tell me, you got to see it, right? No, Please. I don't think so. No, oh my God. <laughs> Axel, Axel, comes, Axel Foley comes back to Beverly Hills, and Billy's got this fancy job. <laughs> he, he, he starts off this like nine letter acronym. The DDJOC. Oh, my God. Wow. You lost us. <laughs> um, you know, he gone. He gone. I enjoy. I didn't see. I do enjoy uh, teaching at the academy. <laughs> you, have, uh, you got plenty of acronyms. Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm finishing up another one here in December. Um, uh, hey, Fred, is your good. academy it's, to get hired, or is it just like a basic fire academy that, like, through a college? Through a college. Through uh, it's through Macomb Community College. Uh, ten oh. ten weeks. You get out. You come out with uh, firefighter one and two hazmat. 
confined space oh, awareness awareness no no confined space anymore ah, that's pro ready Should, to, i mean ready we want there's up. another acronym for you pro pro yeah first responder operations for hazmat how about foe fuck out of here <laughs> um but i have something really really cool that i really haven't told anybody about my wife my wife knows um my chiefs know are you because, pregnant i was yeah. gonna say my chiefs know <laughs> because they're gonna be there but um this friday actually while you're listening to this um i will be at a breakfast at the college because i was selected as instructor of the year hey our what are red yeah that's so what that was that was pretty cool so uh, uh I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Frederick, because, and I'm going to tell, oh, shoot. Oh, man. Hey, I just got the first uh, first response. Call. I need to take this phone call. Hold on. What? Get out of here. No, now you'd have to answer it on the I, air. I just got, to, <laughs> it's like when you get caught passing notes in class. Read it, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, everybody's, everybody's talking. So uh, I just got the first response to uh, the podcast poll. Okay. Is Snoop Dogg a top 10 rapper of all time? Live podcast poll. First answer, no. <laughs> that's it. That's all we get is just I, no? That's the first answer so far. What did you put it on? I shared, I did it on our face, or the team Facebook, or the team Facebook, the group Facebook, and then I shared it. Hey, there's one of my turkeys. You go, team. You can't hear it? You're up, yep, 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 yep. Let me go see if I can catch him. Oh, we are just falling apart here. No, nah, oh, my duck's coming. Hey, ducky. Hey, ducky. Oh, there it is right there. Hey, my ducky just walked in. Like, chime in. Hey, look. Hey, here we go. Look. My duck's walking in. Yeah. I see that. I see some turkey ass. There's one of my turkey asses. I'm going to go catch her. All right, here, I'll be right back. What happened? Oh, he thought you were going to be gone longer. Oh. You may have to do a little, you have to do a little cutting. He started calling the turkeys again. <laughs> He's in here. <laughs> yep, 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. For the people that don't watch this podcast, like, I'm sorry. Because... That oh I can't hear you you're on mute. I was on mute. Sorry. This is Tupac. Say hi Tupac. Go, 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 go. He's not happy that I picked him up. Oh yeah, hey, buddy. You think? Say hi, buddy. Come on, Tupac. Give us some little gobble. He's gonna peck your eyes out. Oh, dude. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's a nice boy. Wait, he's a nighty boy. Is he gonna be Thanksgiving dinner at some? Absolutely point? not. Absolutely not. He's a pet. No, what? he doesn't eat turkey on Thanksgiving. It's Christmas. He's, what? he's a pet. You have two pet turkeys? Uh-huh. What is Oh, his little look, his little beard's finally coming in. That a boy. I'm getting her into a man. How old is he? Uh he's about a year now. Uh, maybe a little less. And he doesn't even have a beard yet? Mm -mm, not yet. But he's he got just that starting one. to get he's just starting to get his spurred. Here you go, buddy. See you later. Wow. Yep, 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 if you don't watch this podcast on what is it, YouTube or Spotify, you are missing out. See you later. Buddy. This is something else. He's a nice boy. He is a nice boy. Um, the fact that he might peck your eye out. Yeah. Uh, look, my duck. Here comes my duck's coming back. He's coming back. So, so right now, one of my guineas is at the door. My duck is at the door. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Why don't you stuff that boy? And one of my roosters. You hear me? Oh. No, I saw him do it, though. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, can we can we talk for one second here? Can we talk uh, for one second here? We've been talking about a lot, Chris. about Saturday at noon, just this past, and the the amazing football game that I'm oh, hoping everybody go. watched. Here we go. Oh, when when right. Green Bay smashed the Lions. Here. No, that was Thursday, and I was at that game, and it was god awful. So thank you for that. 
reliving my trauma. I thought I thought we were in a safe space here, and you're just bringing up bad memories. Um, so right here, Michigan, Big blue, go Ohio blue, yeah. go blue. Did you jump in the lake? No, I was sitting on the couch at work. It doesn't, <laughs> then it doesn't then it doesn't mean anything to you. Hey, that's hey. What, what you, lake? You're supposed yeah, to jump hey. in the lake, Michigan. Don't the don't the students all jump into the lake? Every how year? big do you? How small do you think Michigan is? Well, it's a family. Well, small enough. Lake Michigan is 350 miles away from me. Is it really? Yes. You're in the southern part. I'm in south- the southern part. I'm in <laughs> southeastern. Lake Michigan is on the western hemisphere of Michigan. The western hemisphere. Hey, yeah. uh, so I've got two, two responses so dramatic. far to the podcast poll, Matt. Everything's dramatic. Right, ready? Dr- here's some drama. Go, Douglas. Yeah, is Snoop Dogg a top 10 rapper of all time? I've got one no and one got to be. So uh, we're 50% right now. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I haven't weighed in yet on your Facebook. Well, nobody cares about you. That's not true. Not so true let's... Uh, <laughs> that escalated quickly. Since we're talking about Freddie being pregnant, can we can we share? We could share, yeah? No, it's not our news to share, though, is it? Well, it should fucking be here. Well, and and they said they said we're we're really kind of riding the line here. Oh. I think they said it's nothing. It's nothing right now. It's early. Early. Don't say nothing. It's not. It's, it is it's just thing. It's not like an insignificant. It's, it's a it's a group of cells. Yes, that have formed together. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of cell. Oh, Doctor Peter Atia, is that where you got that? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh man, he's a big mitochondria. mitochondria. He's a big he's mitochondria a mi- guy. Yeah. The fitness gram pacer test is a series of tests. Oh my god. Oh uh, no. Uh, hey, I did run a cool call the other day. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Is this? Let's oh, yeah, there's my softball players. A cool um, call. So, like, wh- yeah, I, I text all about it, but let's share it with the folks and see what they think. We'll talk about hey, it. We're going to protect information. So we go to a mid seventies female. Uh, she's on the floor in her bathroom. Chief complaint came in as chest pain. Okay. Are, you, are we frozen? Am I frozen? Hold a on. little bit, but we still hear your voice, so continue. Oh, did we lose him? Well, spoke too soon, right? Man, I was just okay, freezing Starlink. Oh, there you yeah. go. You're I'll in. Back. Yep. Yeah. I think, it's, I'm, again, I'm not using Starlink. I am hot spotting off of my phone, which I, oh. I feel like is better because I have five bars of service at my house. Anyway, so... Start over. This is your medical minute presented by Carhartt. Douglas. Yeah. So dispatch for chest pain. Carhartt. Yeah. Uh, Dispatch for chest pain, difficult to breathe in, mid-70s female. She's on her bathroom floor, nothing but a robe on. Um, She's lying down, left lateral recumbent. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? What's going on? I'm having trouble breathing. Okay, anything else probably? Well, my chest was hurting. Was hurting? Yeah, was hurting. Got out of the shower, walked in the living room, got lightheaded, short of breath, came back to the bathroom, get her phone, lay down on the floor. Lie down, lie down, lay down, whatever. I'm not the grammar guy. Anyway. He laying down. <laughs> I love fucking with him. Uh, she says, hey, I've just got this weird chest pain and trouble breathing. Okay. So I sit her up and I said, does that make it any better? No. All right. She starts, she's a little diaphoretic. And then she starts saying, hey, I'm nauseous. Okay, boom. Bells and whistles. MI, right? Load her up. Get her on the ambulance. Hey, we just go to the hospital right now because the hospital is 1.7 miles from her house. Uh, PCI center. Let's go there. So we go. We start going there. I get a line. We get a 12 lead going. Um, it's, hey, now my, now my stomach's really hurt. It's really, it's all over. Really bad. Like eight out of 10. Okay, you still got trouble breathing? Not really. Just chest pain? No, not really. It's really in my stomach now. Okay, we run the Zol pressure three, four times. Don't get a pressure. I don't get. I, I'm on radio pulse. That's not good. No, nope. that means the nope. blood pressure is below 90. 100, 90. 90. She's still awake and alert, like nothing's nothing's wrong, right? I'm like, all right, well, maybe you know, whatever. Um, some say 100, some say 90. Same thing for nitro. Who gives a shit? It's ten point. Uh, get her to the hospital. The patient. It, well, of course, but I mean, we're 10 points, whatever. We're not going to, I'm not changing my course for 10 points. This was supposed to be a minute, Freddie. Shut up. 
way longer than a minute. So we still don't get a pressure. Get it to the hospital. I, I call in report. I'm like, hey, I, I'm not sure. 12 leads just signed his tag. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm thinking AAA. All right, cool, whatever. Get to the hospital. Rapidly transfer of care because I'm like, that's something seriously wrong with this lady. Um, they finally get a blood pressure 50 over pout, which is bad. Um, anyway, transfer of care, no problem. We leave. We end up going back to the same facility about an hour and a half later for a separate patient. And uh, I go to check up on her. I'm like, hey, what happened with, with my lady here? She's like, cardiac tamponade. I said, really? I said, I had her pegged for AAA. She said, yeah, we did too. Until we did, you know, sign a ultrasound Doppler. and Doppler. Yeah, we did all everything on the actual chest. She said, we did too. And it ended up being tamponade. And they were sending her up for a synthesis then. And I went and talked to her and I was like, you feeling better? She said, I'm feeling much better. Thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, anyway, so there's my little medical minute for the day. Right. I guess that was, nice. it was interesting. That's the first time I've experienced Tampa you know? mm-hmm. I have a good medical minute too. I ran a, a call um, that probably took about 20 days off of my life, but I'll talk about that in the next podcast. Well, you took a year oh, off. Oh, what a tease. I like it. Look at that. That's a. That's an expert level radio team. What, right what are you What are you doing right now? I don't know. It's like uh, like uh, angels in the outfield. Uh, okay. Quack. 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 What does the duck sound like? <laughs> Quack. Quack. Right. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, hey, this is a good one. It was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, peoples, that it took two. That it took us a couple weeks to get this out, but. We very well may gain or lose hey, followers with this episode. We might. Hey, Snoop Dogg. Well, hey, hey, so Booner. do we have any other uh, answers to the Snoop Dogg question or no? Here, I'll, I'll look real quick. I had here's, our, no, here's our new doggy. Oh, puppy. This is this is Boone. He's a blue tick. Uh, oh. My daughter just rescued him. Hey, Booner. Hey, Booner. He looks a lot like Smokey in Tennessee. How do you get the name Booner? I had Boone. Oh. It's just it's very, it's just Boone, very close. Boonie Tunes. Boone Docs. He got a lot of nicknames. Booner. That's what I'm saying. It's very close. To- oh, so here we have a, qu- a question that we can address real quick. Oh. Are we talking skill set or records sold? See, that's the thing. No. No. That's the thing. I think, I mean, Snoop Dogg has probably got to be one of the most successful rappers. Uh, we're not talking about success. I'm not talking about cultural icons. He was successful. He is a trash rapper. Oh my goodness. You are Thanks. You are high. Uh Kelly Tucker. We have a third response. He said no. No. Oh my gosh. By the way, I think his name was Charles. Uh Charles was he in, in charge? He okay. put he was in charge of of putting in an order for a mug. And oh yes, Sorry, it got, somehow it got denied, and and uh, Unky didn't see it or something. So we apologized to Charles, and we refunded you the money, and then we still sent you the mug because you have. Because that's have what it. kind of people we are. You got to have that mug. I think he bought this one what, after your day, uh, after your day off. So what happened? When did that I happen? Hope, uh, like last week, I got an email because I have my the cool fireman email hooked to my phone, and so it came up. And it said, hey, guys, uh, is there any way you can get a refund on the mug? It's taking way too long. So I I snapshotted it and sent it to Unk. And Unky's like, oh, my God, I missed the notification. Just tell him we'll refund him and send it. So this, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I know. Well, yes. So good hey, uh, stuff. Quick question. We need to get uh, the Shield winner on. Yes. We need to work. We need to yes. Work. Uh, his name is evading me right now. Uh, Jay, it's to uh, Daniel, DJ, DJ. Yeah, I want to see the. I want to see it. I want to see how it came out because I saw Care about it. Like his the, wait, was it Charles was... Newland? Yeah, that's Charlie. That's not the. That's not the mug guy. He works for me. Oh, okay. I work for. He Sorry. works with me. I should say. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, now so I, I want to see what the tin turned out like. I haven't seen a picture of it. It had like a picture of his dad and something else on there. I want to see. It. Oh, oh that's I do cool. too. Yeah. Yeah, we need to reach out to him and get. All right, him. we're reaching out to him and he's going to be on. All right. Very yeah. good. Everybody call it Bama Huh? Is that English? Cedric Cedric the Entertainer. Oh. Hey, man, my name my name's CJ, man. Everybody call me Bama Huh? What's up, Bama No, stupid. Everybody calls me by my initial. CJ. He's been calling it Bama Edric. Edric. 
Anyway. Okay. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks. If you've made it this far, holy crap, you must have been bored. You got to meet my turkey. <laughs> you got to meet Tupac. That's if you, man. If you're still here, we appreciate you. Uh, we are going to see you next week. Yeah, absolutely you are. Cheers. Bye. Roll it, Gigi. Before you leave, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give these firemen a huge thumbs up. Also, make sure you check out thecoolfireman.com for more. Thanks!